Hey, Nina Lewis here from Nina Online, and today I want to talk to you about something you probably heard of, LeadPages.net. And if you don't know what LeadPages is, LeadPages is a software that allows you to make a lot of different pages, like your sales page, opt-in page, thank you page, upsell pages. Um, a lot of internet marketers and online marketers are using this robust system, and for good reason. The reason why it is so easy and effortless to create pages and on top of that it's uh, you can integrate it with your WordPress within like two seconds so it's like totally fabulous as you can see I love 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 this software service because it's really really easy you don't really need a graphic designer anymore you can create seamless pages um, excuse me I'm geeking out for a minute because I just love this product so much but a lot of people are asking me is lead pages really worth it and I say yes a thousand times yes it's like so easy to use so instead of me talking let me show you a couple of things what I'm going to do here because I'm creating a sales page for one of my products that I have my get sales with Facebook product that I have so basically I would go and create a page like you saw me click on there and then here it has all templates where I have the option if I click on sales pages I have the option um, that you said they, they did um okay yeah so what you could do is like you have the option of all these sales pages but what's really cool is that you can actually sort the sales pages that are the like that have the best conversion rates, that's meaning people opting into your list, people actually are taking an action and buying and uh, buying your um, products and services. So they sort the landing pages out, the sales pages by basically what converted best, right? But for me, I don't want to use that. I, I like simplicity. So I'm going to use a sales page that I use with uh, most of my products that I, I usually use. So let's see. This is a sales page. It's a super simple sales page. So I'm just going to say choose that template. Then they have like a marketing um, thing that you can say whatever marketing industry you're in if you want. And then after that, it's going to take you to the... Um, I don't know what you call it, I guess the site builder, if you want to call it that. But it's just so, so simple to use. Watch, it's like, you don't understand how simple this is. The first thing I want to do before I forget is um, the page name. I want to change the page name to something I want to create. And let's see, this is Facebook sales. I'm just going to change that now. I can go back and change it later, but I want to save time right now, as always. And then now, since I saved the page name, it's not saved just yet. Sometimes I just press save because I'm anal that way, so I don't want to lose anything. So once you press save, it's just going to come back to the, the main site build, builder or editor anyway. So basically what you want to do is, let's click out that for a second. Uh, once you click on the title here, your company overview you can say whatever you want to say you want to delete this and then once you delete this let's see you put your headline I'm just gonna do this right now for time sake so I'll do that and then once so whatever you see whatever text you see now you could just go to listen to everything we have to offer you can either go here and hide it say if you, you don't want that you could just hide it or you could just press edit or you could just click in there and then change it I'm going to keep that there for now. And then now they have the sales button where you can also change. Click to edit. You can either hide it or edit it. You don't want to hide it because you need people to make your sales, right? So it's so simple. So say if you have a URL, usually I my Facebook course is connected to my membership site that I have. So I would take the URL, the sales URL, and connect it here. I don't know it by heart yet, so I'm just making something up right now. Actually, let me link it to my other page for A-B testing, but I don't want to get into that right now. But anyway, I can't, oh, no, okay. And then you have the option to actually open the link in a new tab, 
and then you have an option to change you don't want to say add to cart I don't like add to cart as a call to action for myself personally um, so I'll say like it, it's an access to your video or buy now or now I don't even like saying buy or order with my call to actions I usually say something like get instant access to your videos or get your free tr it's not your free because it's not tr free but get your training series here or something like that you know I'm just gonna do that and get instant access now so I'll go ahead and do that get instant access now and then still have some questions I will go here say still have some questions I'll, I'll create a I'll go ahead and edit this and then once you press edit what's gonna happen is usually let's see let's click here for a second edits let's see click here Usually it gives you, let's see, click here. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened there, but what I was trying to show you was to click to edit. And when you click to edit, what's going to happen is a box is going to pop up where you have the option to send them to a URL or an opt-in form. In this case, we're going to send them to a URL because they want to buy the product. And then you would just press done. So after you do that, you want to scroll down and you can make changes if you want to. And then here, you would just go ahead and at the bottom, you have an option to put your logo in. And then in another video, because this video is already long, I'll probably show you how to put pictures in or you can get lead pages yourself. And I'm not an affiliate, by the way. Maybe I should because I just talk about it anyway. Um, and you can go ahead and put your logo or whatever picture you have um, that's in reference to your product. And then I'm going to change that. But then you go ahead and press save. I don't want to publish this just now, but when you publish it, it's so easy. Basically, when you're publishing it, it uh, it's hosted on here. But then you go into your WordPress website and you're going to see you just go into your WordPress and I'll do that in another video if you want, if I get enough responses from this one. But you would just go into your WordPress and then um, you have a lead pages plugin in your WordPress. And basically what you would do is just go and, wait, I'm in my WordPress anyway, so it's not gonna take too much. See this lead pages plugin. And then I have this lead page plugin right here. And I'll go ahead and click on that. Uh, of course, my computer is being slow right now, but that's okay. And then, these are all the pages that I have in lead pages already. So I would just go ahead and f find, let's see, add new actually. And then once I add new, it's going to, I'll go down here and I'll find if that, it's not published yet. So let's just say, let's go to what I published. Okay, actually it is a Facebook sales page. So I would go there and then I would change the name to my site, like Facebook sales page or whatever, and then press publish. So once I change that to, once I publish it, when you go on my site, you're going to go ahead and see this page. Well, it's going to be all dialed up. And then actually, if you want to put a video in here, a video you would just embed the video code I usually put my videos in from YouTube or anything like that and you would just embed your code and then your video will show up in that placeholder so it's just definitely a plug-and-play system and then you want to press save I usually save throughout the time that every time I make a change I save you know that's just what I do but basically that's just the basic crash 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 course and lead pages okay so if you don't have it I highly recommend that you get it and even if you get lead pages they have a, a whole array of tutorials that will like blow my out the water but you go to their website and you'll learn a lot but I, I highly recommend it for any internet marketer or anyone who's trying to sell stuff online especially if you're not a graphic person or a graphic designer like I am or you don't like dealing with the technical side you know so until next time Nina Lewis signing out I hope this video helped you talk to you later bye